Ask why and learn about the solar system. A ballerina who went to space with a rocket man. Once upon a time, not too long ago, in a beautiful blue and green planet called Earth, there lived a curious little ballerina called Charlotte. Charlotte loved everything that sparkled in the sky. And had so many questions about the stars. One day, she met a boy called Harry, who loved buses, cars, tractors, trains, and most of all, rockets. He dreamt of becoming a rocket man. They became best friends, and together, they decided to build. A rocket ship. Why I didn't make a mouse go to outer space to find Pluto. <laughs> it was not easy, of course, but they did not give up. After many hours of hard work, they built a rocking rocket ship. They put on their spacesuits and set off on an amazing adventure. To the solar system. Three, two, one. Let's join Charlotte and Harry, and explore the space together. What is this? This is the solar system. Why is the sun so hot and bright? Harry, why did the sun go to school? To get brighter, because the sun is an enormous ball of hot, glowing gas called plasma. It gives off light and heat to the planets nearby. The sun is a four point five billion year old star. How many fingers is that, Charlie? Why do the planets orbit the sun? Why don't they just fly off into space? Are they like trains on railway tracks? Because of the sun's gravitational pull, it keeps the planets in their path around the sun. We get a free trip around the sun every year! Yay! Why is Mercury not the hottest planet when it's the closest to the sun? I should be the hottest, but I am. Mercury is the smallest of all the planets. It's also called a rocky planet. This is because Mercury has almost no atmosphere, so cannot trap in the sun's heat very well. The hottest of the eight planets is Venus. One year on Mercury is only eighty-eight days on Earth. I'm five years old on Earth, but I will be twenty years old on Mercury. Why is Venus so bright? Fun fact about Venus. It's in the opposite direction of Earth, and a day is longer than a year in Venus because it's so close to the sun and its rotation is very slow. Because Venus is the closest planet to Earth. And has thick reflective clouds, which bounce sunlight back into space. I'm Venus. I'm named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty because of my brightness in the sky. Why is Earth the only planet with life in the solar system? Because it has just the right amount of air, water, and heat. To support life, Earth is just right, so we must take good care of it. Why is Mars called the Red Planet? I'm Mars, named after the Roman god of war. 
There are many reasons why Mars looks red. There are a lot of dust storms and the whole surface is covered with iron oxide, also known as rust, which gives it a reddish colour. Why do you call an alien with three eyes? An alien! Why is Jupiter a gas giant? No one planned! The great red spot is an old storm which is bigger than Earth. I'm Jupiter. I'm named after the Roman god of sky and thunder. Because it does not have a solid surface. Instead, it's made mostly of hydrogen and helium. And it's really big. Neptune, Uranus and Saturn are also gas giants. But Jupiter is the biggest. Why does Saturn have rings? I'm Saturn. Named after the Roman god of agriculture and time. Saturn is surrounded by over 1,000 rings made up of ice, rocks and dust. Scientists believe that a very long time ago, comets and meteorites smashed Saturn's moons into pieces. Then, the gravity shaped them into these beautiful rings. Right now, Saturn has 146 moons. The biggest moon is called the Titan and is even bigger than Mercury. Why is Uranus tilted on its side? I'm Uranus, named after the Greek god of heavens. Uranus is an ice giant and the coldest planet in the solar system. Astronomers think it may be the result of a collision with an Earth-sized object a long time ago. What do you call a crazy spaceman? An astronaut! <laughs> Why is Neptune blue? I'm Neptune, named after the Roman god of sea. It looks like a deep blue sea. Let's go for a swim, Charlotte. Because the methane in Neptune's atmosphere absorbs the red light from the sun while reflecting the blue light back into space. The strong winds of Neptune travel faster than the speed of sound. It takes 165,000 years for Neptune to go around the sun just once. Whoa! As Charlotte and Harry completed their adventure around the solar system, they realised just how much they missed home. They safely landed back on beautiful Earth and ran back home. After a warm bath, they went to bed and dreamt of stars and planets. Remember, keep asking questions and never stop learning. I love you to the moon and back, star child. Happy space adventures, curious kids. Three, two, one.